Curriculum mass has been conducted in Kapia Misa town for Kenya long-distance runner Agnes Terop after she was found dead at her home in Iten. Elsewhere, three police officers who were on duty when the slain serial killer Mason Wanjala escaped have been released on bond. Mariam Johid with a roundup. After a brief prayer session and viewing of the body at the Eldoret Hospital Mochari, thousands of athletes, coaches and residents of Eldoret Town brought the Western Gishu Town in Rift Valley to stand still during the procession in honor of the late former World Cross Country champion Agnes Tirop that lasted two, two hours. Agnes was like a sister to me. And for me to lose someone so close, I was with her in Germany only a month ago. It's something that is really shocking. I'm having nightmares lately. <laughs> I sleep at night and then I would wake up thinking that somebody is going to hurt me. Gender-based violence is not just about women. Some men are being killed also. So we need to speak up about it. We need to emphasize that people should discuss issues. People should learn to talk about what they are going through. Later, a requiem mass was conducted in her parents' home in Kapiamisa, Nandi County, ahead of her burial tomorrow. Elsewhere, three police officers linked to the late serial killer Mastin Wanjala breakout have been charged for aiding a Rumandi escape from jail. They were implicated in the escape of serial killer Mastin Wanjala, 20 year old, who was lynched by a mob in Bungoma County days after he escaped the cell. The trio Inspector Philip Mbidi, Corporal Mutumo Boniface and Mwende Mwinzi were ordered by Senior Principal Magistrate Bernard Ochoi to place 300,000 Kenyan shillings bond and a surety of the same amount or an alternative cash bill of 150,000 Kenyan shillings. However, the case will be mentioned on November 4th. Holding giant banner, phrased and JBV, it is evident that Kenyans and at least fraternity are fed up with domestic squabbles that have taken one of the country's rising star, Mariam Jahid, Switch TV, Nairobi. Gender-based violence is indeed retrogressive. May Tirop so rest in eternal peace.